random chickas. I'm Annabelle. Tails. Kathy. So guys, welcome back to another episode of Random Chickas. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, and for viewing, and keep it on. Keep on with us. So today, we're going to talk about downtown shenanigans. These are our personal experiences we've had as we've been shopping and doing so many things downtown. So let me get right into it. The first one is name calling. Guys, you know those town obbies and orgies you have that you don't even know? I mean, I remember this one time I was downtown and of course I'm not called Priscilla, but some random guy keeps shouting, Priscilla, Priscilla, and I'm like, maybe it's someone next to me I should turn and help. Then I turn and I notice the guy is talking to me. And I turn, look at him and turn around, and he's like, oh gee. <laughs> I find these things really, really funny. Because, I mean, there's nothing you can do about name calling. So if you go to town, expect that to happen. You can't fight back because, I mean, you're fighting like 10,000 guys. Or if you try to insult someone, are you really ready for that level of insult? Because you have guys downtown. So yeah, that's just one of my points. Um, the next one is uh, the ladies that call for saloon work. Like hair do's and weaves, makeup, etc. These ladies will find you walking, and uh, the next thing you know, they are pulling you. Sister Saru, sister Saru, like sister, sister, sister Saru. You know, sometimes you're from the salon, like you've just braided your hair, it's neatly done, like it's perfect. And then the lady will tell you, sister, let's try out your weave. Sister, let's do, let's do a wig. Like if your hair is off, you know, some ladies cut off their hair, and they'll tell you, sister, ka wig. Sister, cut, 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 lipstick. Sister, cut, 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 yank my hand away or like <laughs> try to politely <laughs> remove it and like if you if you try to be polite they think you want their products and try to sell their things to you yeah if you're forceful they will abuse you so there's really no how do you guys do it what do you guys do so the second on my list is Hold on tight to your belongings. Of course, when you go to town, you can't avoid going with a bag. I mean, you need your handbag to keep your phone, to keep your wallet, and so many other things. So, I feel like if I have, for ladies, usually, if you have a cross bag, hold it tight. I mean, you can't loosely be holding your bag. Like, at all times, you need to know your bag is with you. Because if you keep swinging left and right, and you're not holding, before you know it, you're going to reach the shop, and you don't have your bag. And then, yeah. for some people who go downtown with backpacks, in my opinion, I find it easier to hold it, to carry the bag from the front. Because there, you're looking at it, and you know you still have it, and, and someone can't open it. Like it. You know, someone won't open, and you don't know. Because then you're looking. People are coming, but I don't know. I think some people prefer to hold it from the back, but a backpack is safer. <laughs> at the front! At the front. But... <laughs> If you choose to hold it at the back, this is what you do. You don't move properly. You have to walk like this. So that if someone is trying to grab something, like you're swerving at every point, and they cannot get anything. At least that's what I do, and I always carry my bag at the back. Okay, so still about um, still about the, the bags on your property. I always tell people never put your you know phones, wallets in the back pockets. So if you're carrying a phone, I think it should always be in your hands or your bag. That's how I feel it's safe. Or your wallet. Usually, for someone told me they, a guy, when they have they carry their wallet at the back and then they walk like this. They are holding. <laughs> so, they walk. <laughs> so these guys are so swift. Like even if you put your money in the front pockets, they'll pull it out. Find a way to pick they'll it find out. a way to pick it up. That's your knowledge. So you get home or get to where you're going to buy your things from, you're checking yourself and the money is gone. So be safe. 
worst case scenario, you get to your taxi stop and you have no, no transport. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how people hold their phones in their hands in town. I Downtown, do. honestly, I feel like I have to have my phone in my bag. Because I'm just so scared someone would come, grab it and run away. You have to hold it so I feel like it's safe if you're and it, I think if you're it. holding it in your hands, you need to be a fighter, guys. So when the yeah, guy comes to hold it, so the guy comes, you're ready for it. I'd rather have mine. Than mine the next point, guys. If people ask you for directions, or if someone calls you when you're downtown, you don't just turn like this. You have to turn with your entire body. Otherwise, <laughs> if you just look behind, someone will be this side taking your thing. It's beyond you. And then another thing about people that ask for directions, some of them have other motives. There's a time. Someone stops me for directions after giving them the directions. Then they tell me, you see, I can tell you all the diseases that your family members have. And I'm like, how did we come from directions to my... Anyway, I just told him I know all our family's diseases and I walked away. But that's usually a trick that con men use. So beware of con men downtown. <laughs> yeah. So another point is act normal when you have a lot of money. You guys, it's so hard. I mean, if I have money, I need to act like a billionaire. Like, I have the money. But if you're downtown, it's just... You just need to be careful. Because I don't know how, but those guys just know it when someone is carrying a lot of money. So if you have so much money in your bag, just... I mean, act cool, guys. Don't be there. I mean, like, I have so much money. I can't move. I have tires. Just have money in your bag. I know you have so much money. You're going to town to do stuff. But move as usual. Hold your property close to you. But... Be cool, yo. Be cool. Be cool about it. <laughs> okay, guys. The next topic is uh, don't try to use too much English when you're downtown. Like, if you're trying to bargain, learn the basics, especially like with the local languages here in our, in our state, in our country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Guys, we have no state I district. Just... This next one is not advice, it's an experience we had while we were downtown. This one time we had gone to buy makeup, the usual lipstick, eyeliner, blah blah blah. After buying our things, this guy comes and whispers to us, I have other things, come and see. Of course we were curious, what other things are these they are whispering for, to us about? So he takes us to this corner where there was this whole shelf full of women's products. I, I guess you can you can imagine what products there are. I'm not going to go into details. But we were very scandalized. <laughs> <laughs> like so we looked like potential customers. You Why know? did you follow him? We wanted to see what's going on. Because someone comes sure. and tells you I have something else to show. Like he's whispering because yes. he didn't want everyone. So I was like, oh these are things for the chosen few. I don't you know, imagine I think, what that is. I don't think it I don't you think actually say no, things for no, the chosen. No, I don't you. think someone would tell me that and then I'd follow them down like when I'm downtown. I don't know. I don't it's know. not like we're in the open, we're in a we particular curious. shop. Oh. And we wanted you guys it could be gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my next point is wear simple clothes when on a town shopping spree guys and when i say simple i mean comfortable okay it could be a pair of leggings and a t-shirt or a dress i know jeans seem simple but guys if you're going to buy clothes especially those you need to keep trying on you don't want to wear jeans especially your, your high-rise jeans you don't want <laughs> sneakers because you have to keep entering shops and you can't enter people's shops that have carpets with your shoes so imagine if you're going to 10 shops and then you're going to keep trying on jeans. Before you enter each shop, you have to bend to remove your sneakers. And you have to try on, you have to first take off your jeans. I mean, if yeah. it's a dress, you could even wear another dress on top of it. For some shops, if you have to leggings, remove your shoes. I mean, leggings, you can wear clothes. So it's just easier to be in simple clothes. Okay, so guys, for this next point, um, if you're using public transport, that's maybe taxi, make sure the windows are open, you need fresh air. And keep your phones don't sit at the window and then your phone you're using your phone these guys are so swift like in one second your phone would be gone and he picks it effortlessly crosses the road like as if nothing just happened and then sometimes he'll stand and look at you to see what you're going to do because you can't do and then he'll walk away effortlessly like as if nothing happened and if you're using maybe private means like you're in your car maybe you're driving make sure the locks are on make sure the windows are up um, I remember this one time I was driving downtown with my sister 
and then this guy tries to open, like he tried to open the doors, like ksh, ksh. so he realized it was locked and he told me, ha, my sister was so mad, can you imagine, like he tried to me like, yo, yo, you know, yo, you know that stuff, you know that stuff, so maybe if our cars had locked, our bags would be gone, maybe, I don't know, anything would be taken, because guys can also take your side mirrors, you know how you're driving, then he comes next to you, picks your side mirror and, and walks away. out with it. Walks away. They don't <laughs> run. <laughs> they walk away. Yeah. yeah so, does. guys, be safe. Be ready for these things. Not that it will happen to you, but just in case. Be aware. Yeah, be aware. Be alert. My last point is when you're going downtown or when you're going to town to shop, Remember to eat and hydrate. You guess. <laughs> so yes. You know, usually you don't go to town on a rainy day. You wait for a day when, I mean, the sun is a bit out because it's yeah. easier to walk down there when it's a mess when it's wet. Yeah. So, guys, that town kasana, when you're walking and the doing heat. shopping, yeah. the heat, <laughs> yo, you just need, if you can't carry a bottle, no, if you can carry a bottle of water, but if you can't, hydrate before you start the town I journey. Agree. Eat because you'll be hungry and you're like in the middle of Chiku. Okay. And there's no place to sit Chikou, and eat. Chiku or you're like in Grand Corner. Yeah. Know, it's what, so, those animals downtown. Or you have like so many caver it's you know what just eat, drink before you have go that to energy. The town. You need yeah. that energy. You need it. So yeah, that was it. Um for my last point this is a trick that some you, like very few taxi guys who are thugs used to you know road people you sit at the they make you sit at the front or next to you know the part where the conductor sits and then they'll tell you please hold the door the door is opening up make sure you hold it otherwise you'll fall out so if you concentrate on the door these guys are busy opening your bag and pulling out your stuff so sometimes they say if you have a laptop they'll pick up the laptop fixing a rock and then you'll get to your, <laughs> your destination <laughs> Carry up your rock back home. <laughs> so you get back home, you're opening your backpack, you're putting out your laptop. I and rock. Rock. A huge stone. A huge rock. So guys, if you're in a taxi and someone tells you, please hold the door, hold the door, just get out. Tell them guys, first stop, let me pray myself and then run out like run for your life. That's your belongings. Be safe. <laughs> well, the final point is do not pick fights when you're downtown. <laughs> Those guys have their friends there to help them and you're alone. What makes you think you're going to be able to beat all those guys? There's this one time when I lost it. Um, this guy... And I tired with like so much irritation. And he's like, okay, now kulachi. I just lost it. I had a phone in my hand and I was going to throw it at him and I realized it's a phone. So I just hit him with the phone. My friend grabs me and that was the end. But luckily, there were no other guys to come and help him. So at least nothing bad happened, but it could have been worse. And since then, I have been more careful and tried never to lose my temper with those guys. Yeah. So we shall end here today. I hope you relate with the, the what we've shared. Yeah, and hard. thank you so much for watching to the end. <coughs> See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like. You can hit the comments and tell us about your downtown experiences. It will be nice to see what you guys have. I know what through. you guys have been through. And don't forget to subscribe. We love you. Keep sharing. Um, watch out for our next video. It will be quite different. Yeah. So, be ready for it. Watch out. Thank you. Thank you, guys.